Welcome, this is Brenda Walton from Loving Hands Crafts. So today I'm going to be making this um, Dreamy Tree Inspired Project. Um, it's a mini tree hat box and I cut it out in Design Space, so I will be using my Cricut and Design Space today. So I've already downloaded the project or uploaded the project onto um, in my um, projects in Dreamy Tree. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, from Dreamy Tree. Apologies. I'm gonna go ahead and customize it. to bring it in to show you what I've done. Okay. So these are the individual pieces. Um, bring that in range. So this is basically the construction of this tree box. So you have your flower, you have your band to make the hat, a topper to the box, and then um, your base. So you can choose any color, um, any paper color, I would highly encourage you um, to use a, a stronger uh, pound paper. Um, I use about a 110 pound paper, pretty robust cardstock. So once you pull in the, the um, project, um, then you can go ahead and click make it, and then it'll arrange it on your mat. So I have a maker three, so um, I'm just gonna use um, on mat click confirm and then this is um, the one the main piece um, this is the construction of the top and bottom of the box but I do believe there's one more piece and if I'm not mistaken I can move this piece to another mat so I'm gonna click on the triple dot in the top corner and the area in move object and I'm going to move it to this mat with the remaining pieces so that I can use one piece of cardstock and see blown up there it is and then that mat will go away and then um, here are the flowers so I'm gonna roll back up here um, click continue I don't believe I turned on the machine. Oh. I did not turn my machine on, so apologies. So I can't find something that's not turned on. So I'll just wait back for patience. So my maker is on the other side of the room. And my computer's on the other side. And I don't have them on the same. Oh, hold on, let me just cancel. Okay, there we go. Just don't have them on the same area so it does make crafting challenging but I'm up to the challenge okay so now it connected so I'm gonna select medium cardstock um if you don't have a maker 3 or a maker and you do have the air explore air 2 or explore you can change the scoring to a scoring stylus um, I went ahead and changed it to a scoring stylus. I don't need that big of a, a deep score. Um, and then um, I, add, I ensured that I did more pressure, so I'm going to keep that as a um, remember uh, material setting. And then um, you would just go ahead and roll your uh, chosen cardstock, your colors, whatever that may be, onto your machine and proceed to cut it out. I'm not going to do that since I've already cut it out. So I'll come back. Um, if you're not, I, I'm sorry, let me just say that. I'll come back. Um, I'll, I'll come back and uh, show you what I've cut out. So um, that's it for so far. So I will see you in a few. So 
So now I'm back down to my, I moved you to my mat. And so here are the individual pieces that I've cut out. Um, whoops, so let's see something I gotta fix. Might have to clean my blade. It's always cranky after doing um, glitter. So yeah, it's gonna be good. Um, because I used um, glitter cardstock, um, you really can't see the scoring marks. Um, um, Leo and his team does a really good job of identifying all the pieces. So I went ahead and on the back side you will be seeing these put and I put it in pencil in case you do I can erase it. Um, what what these items are so that when you assemble it, I know what, what pieces are there. So that was the bottom piece. This is no indicator here. This is the top piece. And this is um, another cover. So what I'm gonna do is make sure I have a oh and I need to do one other thing. Yeah, there's that. There's my little string to cut out. Flowers, and then that's that piece. So before I get started, I have to grab another piece. Excuse me. So I don't know if you noticed, but there's this white on the edge. So what I'm going to do with my alcohol marker is go ahead and blacken that. So it won't be such a jarring look up against the colored cardstock. And, and um, trust me, you don't want to not do this step if you have a solid white or you just want to go ahead and hide that. It, it just looks really weird um, when you put the, put the pieces all together. And I'm only going to do, she's not going to see these. I'm just going to do the part that's going to be bigger. And so I'm just using some alcohol markers. This um, is the prism color. I think it's um, the craft store brand from Michaels. I'm not 100% sure, but that's the color I'm using. It's in black, so I'm just covering up that white outline on these pieces and it'll make it'll just add the finishing touch of, to your project it only takes a few minutes um, if you forget to do it it's no big big because um, I did make one and I forgot to do it and I was like what's that white something wrong did I miss something and then I was like oh I forgot to mask it you know how you have your shoes got scuffed back in the day and you especially if you had black boots um, I grew up in Michigan so you know the weather during the winter and you get all the salt rain or something and you had um, black boots you take a a marker and go ahead and marker up your boots to get rid of the scuff marks. Same principle here. So just takes a few minutes again to come in. I just really, I don't know. It's like I just got this for free. But I've, I've been aware and I've heard that black paper is really hard to cut. I don't know why. I did use them on pressure, but sometimes, and it, but you know, it's glitter too, so, you know, just make what you got, make do with what you got. Now, I have made this box before, so I'm going to try to remember the name from memory. Because usually I just watch the, um, the good thing about it, um, again, if you're not, um, 
so it's a dreamer um leo does produce these awesome awesome you know videos that you can follow along so you're never not alone with this project so you always have leo encouraging you and um i really res um, really learned how to make a lot of projects that i wouldn't have dared to make on my own Wow, he does assembly videos. They're just top notch. He does quality work. Okay, so there's a couple of score marks. So we're going to take this um, and then we're going to um, flip these back. Oh. I like to use my um, scraper tool just to kind of get these all scored up. Now, um, I I used a heavier cardstock. Um, this is a, a, a box. I mean, it's a square turning into a circle. Um, so um, you want to use a heavier cardstock, a 110 um, cardstock. You don't want to use any, a light cardstock, like a 65 pound cardstock. Because this is a tree box, and um, so you want it to be pretty sturdy. So there's a score mark here. So I'm going to. And so what you're going to do is go ahead and make sure that you. There we go. Line will score mark. You may not be able to see it, but there's a little score. When I have a hard time seeing the score marks, I just go ahead and use a pencil. Something that I can erase. It just helps me let it stand out more. Um, in my old age, I need to be using glasses. So what we're gonna do. From experience, let me grab some score tape. I did I had a hard time holding it down and it was just really it, 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 it resisting so I'm gonna use some score tape to help with the resistance to grab it and hold it and I'm also gonna be using glue too because if I don't get it glued right like I need it to um if I like need to readjust then um the glue will give me a little bit of wiggle room. I'm all about the wiggle room now. All about the wiggle. Just a little bit of Oh, 
trick that will give you some time to align it. And then we're going to bring it over. And I just pour it on the wrong side. I knew I was screwed up. We'll But I need to get this panel up to those lines, but not over them, but up to it. And then I'm going to make sure, and see how that glue gives me a little wiggle room? And I'm going to make sure that I get that aligned, especially at the bottom, I want it to be up here. And I'm going to use tweezers to kind of hold it in place. So, oh, I may not need them. Okay, I'm going to need it. That's why I put the tape on here. It's not going to be perfectly um, symmetrical, but it's good enough. I had not used the glue and just had the score tape, oh, it would have been a disaster. I would have been able to move this out because it was a little bit too tight. Alright, so I'm waiting on that. Let's just need a little persuasion there. Use the table to press it down. Good thing I checked. I'd be mad as heck. Okay, yeah. Now I'll go over there. Oh, the bed's so mad. Mad, mad, mad. It's like, oh my god, I gotta cut it again. And I only cut out one, and I usually cut out two. And yeah, 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 yeah. But I've been known to screw something up, and I go back and cut it again, and. I keep working on it until I get it. I do not give up. That's the worst thing that you can do. Is give up. Alright, see how that fits in there now? Oh yeah, that's right. Maybe it fits it's not the box. I remember having this much difficulty. Maybe I was screwing up when I was doing it. Put the rest on it. Because that fits a whole lot better. Okay. And I did have the wrong one. I knew that was too tight. Idea. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so I think I mislabeled them. I had to have mislabeled them. And if it's not mislabeled, that's the story I'm going with. Because now I'm going to make it work. Okay. 
that's the idea. So we're gonna have both these tabs. Here. So we're gonna take a little bit of glue and then we're just gonna do a couple at a time. Now be patient with this. You're going to have to be patient and let this set up. So what you're gonna do is put the glue on there, make sure I'm in frame. So I'm saying you can't let me have things that eat you. You gotta keep trying and keep doing. is to turn it over and then hold it down. So what I like to do is take and just fold down the sides. You should want to get those tabs attached like this. And then you're just going to keep doing that until you go around the whole entire Turn it over, press on the inside, and use whatever persuasion you have, dial whatever you have around you, to get down in there and press and hold down these tabs. And you're going to continue that process all around the perimeter. So I'm going to pause the recording, get this down, and come back. I'm back and I've got one less tab so I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on that tab and, and then I'm checking and see if all of them are here up oh, there's another one so just be careful and mindful of, you know just so I got one tab that didn't get glued to the stick got glued do the thing. So try that. One more hand. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna run my finger across all of them and make sure that they're good and down. So that's the inside. Let's start cold. Can't really see it, but it's glittering in the inside. And then I'm going to take this bad guy and glue that on the top like that. So I'm gonna use some score tape too. So, can you kind of see myself put this way? See how you can see that white? I'm going to go down that again. My tinway alcohol marker. Let me, let, me, let me grab the figurine. I need to find one. Let me use the larger end and cover up and hit it one more time. So, I don't want to really call out that white. I just need you to see. Just needs it to be more seamless. So now, yeah, looks better. It's a whole lot better. And that's what I'm doing. I'm taking my alcohol marker and I am just making sure I cover those any white areas so the white won't be exposed. Because again, this is not solid black. This is the idea, and I'm going to cover that up, and then that's going to be the bottom of the box, and then we'll go back and make the top of the box. Put a bead of glue on the top, all the way around, get it good. And we can get any big puddles of glue, I'm just going to take my hand and dab it up. That'll keep that from squirting all out. Add the bottom. Oh, that's sparkly on the 
eating it, I'm not crying. It'll just look nice and neat on the bottom. And see how it fit? I just run my hand around the bag and just try to push down from the bottom and make sure. And then just put the hat on the top, like the, the actual top of the box. It'll just snug it up real close. Okay, so we're gonna work on set that aside and we're going to work on the um, top of the box. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our bend back these tabs and put a T. It reminds me of a song. I'm just using my um, stripper tool to put up against those because they're in the store line here. And the principle is the same. I can't really see the form, but it is still the same principle. part my head and then put it in the light to get that gaze to this area. Whatever I have in hand on me. Try to be mindful of that. Make sure I got this going right. I won't jack it up like I did last time. It's just a bead of glue on the inside. Same thing here. And let's marry these two together. So the idea is again. want to do, let me, I'm wanting to do is make sure where it said, got enough room, like I said, to get that, don't want to have a repeat of the bottom. Let's try to get these teeth fit properly. Sorry, not in frame, I apologize. Kind of like I want them. You can kind of see the band of the box is coming together in the top of the box. That should be a better job here. And so I'm going to stick this bad guy, or not this bad guy, but this doodad, in here. Oh yeah, okay, so I did that before. See how it fit in there? And uh, you want to make sure you don't do what I just did. 
So when you're um, trying to glue down the letter, it does take a little bit longer for the glue to adhere to get a good adhesion. So I'm not surprised. So I had a little bit of time. So let me just do a dry fit before I get everything glued in. It's going to be the same process with the bottom. You're going to take your tabs, bend them back, glue them down, stick them down. Um, and I'm going to start up here and then I'm going to do this off camera and so you won't have to watch this agonizing process. It's like watching water boil, so I'm not going to, it, I'm not going to subject you to that. So, but the idea is to turn it over. Use your work surface. Um, and I can already see it. I need to put a little bit more glue in. Okay, so it's not supposed to be. Uh, just use this persuader. Let that hold it in place. And so I'm going to stop the recording and I'll be back when I finish this. So I'm back. Hmm. I went back and watched the video while I was offline and I realized what I did wrong. So don't do what I do, um, but I'm gonna make it work. I went and recut <clears throat> another top for it. It's not gonna be perfect. And you know what, I'm not gonna cry. Um, usually uh, what I'll do, if things don't turn out as pretty, I'll just keep it for myself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this top down as best I can, um, trying to keep most of the tabs covered in the front because this will be the what's facing this part will be the back so um, I'm not gonna cry I'm just gonna make it work uh, like I said when I have these little mishaps and blues I usually just keep the item for myself what I was saying earlier is that um, um, I would give these like door prizes or wedding gifts or um, make these treat boxes and I don't necessarily have to fill them with candy or anything so <clears throat> I have a lot of co-workers at my um, other gig quote unquote um, that I will um, you know can fill them up with stuff for Christmas and little little items like uh, staplers or office stuff just stuff to put on the desk desk debris as I call it um, so, you know, you don't, um, these can be well, used for a lot of other stuff other than just candy. Um, let's just make sure I hold this thing out. Maybe I can get enough glue on it for me to try it. Okay. Just stick on that. And where I see, like, some white spots, I'll go through with my um, marker and then mark there's a, a 
Alright, um, we're almost done speaking. Best laid plans. So you can kind of see the difference when I go through and clean up the white. And it just makes it more, you know, it just doesn't seem so dry to the eye. Right. Oh, I'm just so mad at myself. <clears throat> But believe it or not, uh, I have made this box, <laughs> made it twice, um, so this one will just be mine, so I'll put it on my desk at work, and then, you know, I've just stuffed candy in it and things like that. So what I'm going to do with this part, so this is going to go here, and then all I got to do is flower on and do the string, string the band. Let's put a little dab of purple to some beads, not too much. Turn this guy over and line up those holes. And I really like this pop of yellow. So I'm a little afraid of okay. these little pieces got a way of getting out away from me. Um, I had this book on color, and um, I was like just pulling up this color, like, okay, what contrast and color, what color would work with this, and what color I have in my cardstock stash that will work. And I really love the yellow, it just pops it out. Pattern. I don't even know what you call this. This is a plaid pattern. Alright, and so here are my flowers. Here, the hole or something. We're trying to do this from memory. I'm just taking the dowel and curling them. And then I'm gonna finish it and I'm just gonna flip those up like that. So the idea is to add a little dimension when I glue it onto the top. So they'll, uh, they'll kind of pop up and have a little dimension. So I'm gonna work it just a little more. And then um, just curl the flower with your thumb and your forefinger just give it up just curl the paper sorry I'm all out of camera I apologize I'm all up in my face and I need to be up in her face just curl the paper and then I stick it on I'm just going to try to get the center same principle with this flower. Uh, I'm just trying to get these petals curled up to itself. So over like that. Just go around the flower. Just like fold it towards the center. Once you do that, then you uh, take your dowel and then you just curl it away from yourself. So, 
I usually have a bigger doll, but uh, it's out of arm's reach. I forgot to grab it down. Sometimes I organize myself too much and then I can't find it. I want to do is fold it up and then bring it back as a whole. And then the idea is I'm going to get some pop dots and pop it up. But you don't want the, the petals, you want it to be offset. So, like, you want this top petal to be in between these. So, kind of like that. Alright, let me get it. Done again. What I'm going to do is dab a little bit of glue on the back side of it, and then I'm just going to adhere it. So I'm going to turn that upside down in a sentence. So you can kind of see it. I'm just going to drop it in there as best I can. I'm going to take the back of sheet off. I can kind of move it around. That's the idea. In case it's um, overlapping. Like, see how that's like, it just landed perfect. Yep. So, that's the idea. And that's got a little dimension. So, the finishing flourish is. I'm not sure. I think I've got a just like a Bella. So, I have these dewdrop. I'm going to go through this bag and try to find the biggest one I can find. Yep, and then this one. I am going to put that there. So we're not quite done. I'm going to add, once I add this element, I'm going to do the string. And then, then we'll So the idea is to go ahead and get the string through the hole, and then I think I covered up a little tall with this. Just be careful with my dad. I'm new to filming. I got 
one in through, and since this is a, uh, the top twine, should we do? I did cut off a fair amount of the twine, right? It's because I knew I might have to be cutting um, some of these, and I keep forgetting to make myself a needle. Um, I have some craft wire that I can make a needle. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to make a needle. I'm gonna go ahead and put a knot in this side. I'm gonna have some lace, I just know I am. So I'm not gonna cry about it. I, I try not to cry about stuff I really can't control. So, and what I'm gonna do is string this up and cut and cut that a little bit shorter and make it a little bit neater. So I'm just gonna cut it quite close to the knot and just tidy that up. Now I'm going to struggle with the other side and make sure I can get it through. So what I'm going to do is put a clean edge on this one. And then just do it all and hope for the best. That one end. Come on. Work with me, sister. Work with me. Don't mess with my head. You think I'm gonna work with this sister? So I'm keep chopping till I get it in there. I mean, I don't, this is all that I have. I don't have anything thinner. If I had something thinner that, that didn't have uh, two, uh, two uh, double, you know, two colors, just one color, like the silver, just the black by itself then this is, would go a lot easier. But I use, I'm using what I have, what I have. I don't have any other color. Again, uh, I'm shiny girl, so I like the sparkle and, um, of the silver and the black together with this. So I'm gonna make it work. And you're watching me struggle, I apologize. And I kind of screwed up when I put this one on. I don't know if you can see it, but part of the thing is covering it up. So it's only letting one in at a time. And I need both of them in at a time. So I'm just going to keep fighting with it. So it just gets fine. Okay. So let me show you how I'm going to make it. So we're going to make a I really want to take this guy off, but I can see it's already hanging on me. So I'm gonna have to. Okay. Okay, well, but that's how I would make it. I tried not to, but I 
just I needed to have enough of the string um, that I could pull it through and then have enough to knot it because I tried to be stingy with it and to not the first time I did this and it didn't work out so well. So I just said give me enough anyway. I like that I might have to take that knot out but it's okay I'm right it is the leave it not I'm not struggling with it and I'm gonna cut up that part pull that through put the top back on and we have got a completed project oh my god oh my Jesus oh my lord thank you Jesus so that's the tree came together pretty good and then I just want to show you the other one that I made um this one a lot this one I was making it I was following along with Leo and I did some ink blending on this one and I decided not to do any ink blending on this one because I just wanted to have that contrast so again if you like what you see if you would please be so kind ma'am sir to um subscribe don't, don't forget to hit the subscribe down at the bottom um i will have in my description a listing of all of this um all the materials and supplies that i used and i will um and certainly include a link to dreaming tree because i think if you um like to do three-dimensional items such as this um then you will definitely like what you see over there and um, i want to support and be supportive of all of the of my here my crafting heroes and leo is certainly one of my crafting heroes uh, talk to you soon and have a good day